Hey, this is just a simple rundown of how to play the picking pattern in Wings. I'm going to start with uh, just the first verse, basically that section. So I'm going to start uh, just by saying that this song is in drop D. It's in the key of D, it's in drop D. So your low E string is going to be uh, tuned down to a D. There's four main chords that I use. And the first chord is a G type chord, and you build it with your ring finger on the fifth fret of your low D string now. And then you have your uh, A string muted, and then you have your D string um, open, and you have your second finger on the G string, fourth fret, to create that note, first finger on the B string, third fret, to create that note. So all together it'll sound like this. That's what we're working with. So that's your G type chord. The next chord that I use is a D type chord, which is essentially like a D, like a normal D, but I'm not gonna use my middle finger, I'm not gonna use the top note. So it'll, with all the strings, it sounds like this. First finger on the uh, second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string. And the next chord I go to is kind of crazy. I'm going to take my third finger and I'm going to go all the way up to the ninth fret on the low D string. Kind of same thing for the G. I have that one. Mute the A string, D string open, and then with one finger I'm going to uh, press down on the seventh fret of the G and the B string. I'm not going to worry about that first string. So that's kind of what we got for that one. That's the B minor type chord that I'm using. And then the next chord is very similar. All you can, really all you need to do is slide your hand down the neck two frets and then lay your middle finger down on the sixth fret of the G string. It's just like the G very similar to the G chord that we played, it's just up two frets. So um, together that'll sound like this. That's the A chord that we're gonna be using. So we have our G, our D, B minor, and our A chord. Okay, so let's talk about the picking pattern real quick. So the picking pattern is a little bit interesting. Um, let's just start with the G chord. Let's just hang out on this for a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with my thumb on the low D, and then I'm using my pointer finger on the D string, middle finger on the G, G string, And then I'm going back to my thumb. So those first four notes together sound like this. And then I'm going to go to my ring finger on the B string. I'm going to pluck it like this. I'm going back to my thumb on the low D. And I'm going back to my middle finger on the G string. So those three notes go like this. So all that together, you put it together, it goes like this. Thumb, first finger, middle finger, thumb, ring finger, thumb, middle finger. One more time. And then to close it all out, I do something kind of different where I do like this upstroke with my thumb. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be clean. It's really more for like the percussive sound of my fingernail hitting the strings. Um, so after you play this, you just kind of whack your finger up. 
and that way it's sort of like an upstroke so you're ready to come back down and do it again. Oh. Basically that's the whole picking pattern with the right hand, you just change the shapes to the D, to the B minor, to the A, oops I messed up that one. So that's essentially the whole first verse section, really like through the first chorus or so. I forgot to mention on the chorus, on the first chorus, excuse me, uh, you, I do this thing where it's like, so let me just play through it. You are eagle, you are dove, slow to anger, rich in love, and I long to rest. So the Progression changes just slightly on the chorus where we're going G, D, A, B, A. But you'll see the picking pattern is only like half as much. So when we go G to the D to the A, B. So I'm kind of cutting that picking pattern in half. When I go to the B minor, I play thumb, pointer, middle finger, and then Swipe up, same thing, move it down for the A, thumb, pointer, middle finger up. That way I don't have to get into like the whole picking pattern, I'm just cutting it like right in half. Also, there's a, a little thing, a little harmonic thing right as you get into that first chorus. Um, your wings. Kind of like that, where I just... Um, doing a harmonic on the seventh fret of the D, G, and B strings. And I kind of use, I do this like little thing with my fingers, so it's like, I just do it kind of rapidly. I just assign each finger for one of those notes. You could strum it if you wanted. I think it's kind of fun to like, It's just kind of fun to do that, something to throw in there. And then the next thing that I wanted to go over was um, there's a section coming out of that chorus into the next verse um, where it goes um, um, let me play that again for you. So uh, the progression goes I gotta get into it. So basically I'm just playing that B chord, but I'm doing another little finger roll thing, so I'm doing thumb, and then I'm using my pinky to get on the 9th fret of the G string, and then up to the 11th fret on the G string. I kind of let go of that, that note, it's like, I don't know, it's not really that important, it's more about the melody at that point. That's kind of what I do for that. And then I finish it going back to the seventh fret on the D string. Kind of like that. Not everybody's like this, but I kind of default to using my ring finger for a lot of that, a lot of that picking stuff. You don't have to, you can use whatever's comfortable for you. Um, that's just kind of like what I do. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's just, I'm weird, I guess. Okay, last thing I want to talk about is in the second verse, it kind of transitions from doing the picking pattern to doing like this palm muted kind of chunking type thing. And the way that I get into that is, so you're kind of hanging out on that A, um, and then I go to this B, I strum it. I don't strum the whole thing, kind of like what we did for the, Kind of like for that thing, I just do my thumb, pointer, ring finger, or middle finger, excuse me. And then I do like this thing where it's like, um, 
go down here, first finger on the sixth fret of the G string, middle or second finger on the seventh fret. And then I do this thing where I kind of go like on the low D string. And then I kind of start chugging away from there and doing some palm muting. And what I'll do is like, I'll just do like a power chord type thing where I'm using one finger to push down on all those three strings. Same chord progression, it's just you're doing it differently now. So let me just try that again full speed. Oops, sorry. Kind of like that, let me try again. That's more like it. So that slowed down. So you kind of have like this boom, 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 kind of this cool bass line type thing. And then it goes into the palm muting thing. I'll do that one more time. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but. And I guess the last thing of the song is when it gets to the bridge, I'm kind of just hanging out on those power chords for the 5th, 7th, and ninth fret. And I'll do this thing where I'm doing like a... I'll do like this little grab with a couple fingers with my thumb. So the first time around I'm plucking all of them. Thumb pluck, pluck, thumb pluck all of them for that little passing chord of the A. And then the same thing. Bump, bump, bump. Thumb, pluck, pluck, thumb, pluck, pluck. Let me just play it slowly for you so you can get it. A lot of times I'll use different fingers for that, you know, like I'll do. You don't have to use the same finger on your left hand for, you can kind of, uh, there's no rules there, so you can have fun. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.